Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on comics. Actually, comics for coheads. This is a part one of a four series, and we have five equations to go through. For part one, I figured I'll give you an overview of all the four family members of this conic family. Let's get started. Each family, of course, starts with the smart one. That's the circle or elliptical ones. Okay. In the general form, it's x squared plus y squared divided by coefficient equal to 1. So this is the smart one. It keeps everything together. You know, you know, it's a circle. And this plus sign is what it does it. The difference between circle and ellipse is the coefficients on the bottom. Circle has no preferences with x axis or y axis, where elliptical one has major and minor axis. Now, this is the smart one. It gathers everything together. Let's talk about the half-weighted ones. Half-weighted ones are the, let's call this ellipse slash circles. Okay. The half-weighted ones are the parabolas. So they're half open, they're half together. Okay, those are in the form of y equal to ax squared or x equal to ay squared. So there's a one linear term. As compared to up here, there's no linear term. Then let's talk about the rebellious one. Each family has a rebellious one where it doesn't keep it together. It's broken up either this way or this way. Okay, this is in the general form of x squared over a squared minus, minus as if they're fighting, okay, equal to 1 or the other way around. y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equal to 1. You don't have to read all the small inter small letters here, but get a general picture of what's happening. There's a plus, there's a minus, and then there's a linear term. And of course, each family has the dumb and dumber ones. Kind of reminds me of that movie by Jim Carrey and uh, who was the other one? Daniel? Jeff? Daniel? Something like that. As the movie Dumb and Dumber. This is the one that's called a degenerative. Those are the ones that somehow become lines. Okay, not curves. We'll talk about it, how we go getting those degenerative ones. Now, of those five examples, there is one that's degenerative for number three here, here is degenerative. Let's take a cursory look how we determine which one fits where. But before we do that, let's take a casual walk and math break. Yep, you guessed that. This is a nail polish lady in high wires walking a two dogs in nail clippers. A picture I got today from a friend of mine. Anyway, okay, back to math. Let's examine the first one. 3x squared minus 6x plus y equal to 9. We have one linear term. So guess what? This is the half together one. Okay, so this is what we call the parabolas. Next one, we have 4x squared plus y squared equal to 8x plus y. Now if we move this one around, and you'll see that x term and y term in between has a plus sign. So this one is all together, that's kept together. This is the smart one in the family. So it's either a circle, but the coefficient doesn't look like it's matched. So most likely it's a ellipse. All right, that's how we tell. Third one earlier, I said that this is the degenerative one. It does take a little bit of work to show why it's degenerative, I think in part two or three will work on this one. But for now, we'll just say this is the dumb, dumber one. Okay. Let's go on to number four. We have 2x squared plus 4 equal to 4x plus 
plus y squared. Move this around as we did before. You'll have plus y squared. My apologies, this is a minus y squared. This sign is actually pretty important. Uh, let's see, equal to minus 4. Okay, with the y squared here minus, you can see here, you have a x squared and minus y squared. This is in the form of that's rebellious one. It's either this or this way, depending on which term it's positive. So this is the hyperbola. All right, one more to go. And then we have 9x squared minus y squared plus 18x plus 6y equal to 9. There is a coefficient in there, which is different from number 3. And observing that 9x squared going grouped with x term, it's minus y squared minus 6y. So the chances are, because of this minus sign, it's a rebellious one. It's this one or this one. Run out of room here. You can. All right. So cursor we're looking. We have uh, parabola. We have kept it together, which is ellipse, ge degenerative one, and two of the hyperbolas. All right. In the next few clips, we'll take closer look at each one of them. All right. Hope uh, this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.